What's up, guys? So, decided to make another video today. Um, you see, I'm still wearing the same pug with jersey. So, what do I want to talk about? Something that's, uh, I guess, not too much in the po political realm. But um, a couple days ago, uh, the LA Clippers and the Dallas Mavericks were playing um, in a playoff game. Um, so, this was a game before Luka went off and hit that game winner over Reggie Jackson. Reggie, Reggie Jackson. So it looks like throughout the game, uh, there was an instance where Harold and Doncic got tied up. It looked like Luca got caught for a um, a foul, even though it didn't mean anything. Um, and so later in the game, uh, Montrez Harold, I don't know, he did put back or something like that, like big man move and like dunked or something like that. Um, and he's running back down the court, jogging back, and then he just screams. Um, he mouths out and says to um, in the direction of Luca, like um, bitch ass white boy. Um, so this got a lot of traction on the internet and social media um, because, especially with the current climate that we're in, with Black Lives Matters and with police brutality um, and like defunding the police. Um, and the racial tensions are definitely high in America right now and in a lot of places around the world. So being on a national stage, we're all inside. A lot of people are watching the game. And for him to say something like that definitely caused a buzz around um, NBA circles, around Twitter circles, pretty much just everywhere. So um, a lot of people were talking about it on the Internet. And there's a lot of interesting sides and um, different areas where you can take this. So some people were saying like, oh, Montres Harrell, he's a racist for saying that to Luka Dantich. He brought his race into the um, attack on him or the trash talk on him, and that's not rice, and that makes Montrose Harrell a racist. Some people would say it's a bad thing to do. It's not racist, but it's just prejudice because black people can't buy, black people can't be racist. Um, and there's people who argue on that, and people have different opinions on that. Some people just say, like, hey, bro, like, it's the heat of moment. They're in the game. And if you played pickup before or if you played organized basketball or hockey or soccer or football, anything like that, you're going to hear trash talk and words that probably shouldn't be said get thrown around. But everyone knows the competitive spirit of the game. Um, if you ever played sports, you know emotions get high and um, things will be said that aren't necessarily meant to, I should say, be exactly what they said, but more to just knock your opponent off their game and get that extra edge with just some bad words thrown around, you know? So, yeah, some people would just label it under as typical, everyday trash talk. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely different avenues to approach it on. Um, so one prominent figure in NBA circles, Jay Williams, um, former Duke basketball player and um, ESPN commentator, he went about and said that, Montrose Harrell was completely wrong. So, like, the quote he had here was, quote, I can only imagine if Luka Doncic had said something like that to Harrell and it got caught on tape. I can only imagine during Black Lives Matter how much of a big deal this would have been considering today's climate and state. It would have been a massive story. Luka would have lost all credibility in the space. Um, and he went to say that, like, he himself, he said, like, LeBron would have to be asked a question about it and, like, Kawhi and, like, the big stars would be, like, what do you think about Lucas saying this to Harrow in this hypothetical situation? Um, and yeah, Jay Williams was really against it um, and said like he he didn't he didn't really like that that occurred. Um, which, in my opinion, now I'm going to bring my opinion to the take. I can see exactly where a lot of people are coming from um, when it comes to people who say like, "Oh, this was racist by Montrose Harrell." I don't really think that it was racist just because like him saying that to like Luca doesn't, it doesn't change like, like belittle him or put him in like a negative light. He's just trying to say like, Oh, I got this bucket over you and you're a little weak boy, you know? Um, even though we all know how great of a player Luca Dantich is um, and how filthy he can obviously be. At basketball so but yeah in that moment Harold bested him and he just put out some trash talk um and even Rivers's coach sorry Doc Rivers Montrose Hill coach um said like 
he he said it, but he didn't mean anything racially by it. And if you've talked to anyone who's played basketball in the NBA, really at any levels, especially when you get to high school and college, psh, you probably hear that 10, 15, 20 times a game, stuff like that being thrown around because it's just the competitive nature of the game. Um, and some will say like, okay, yeah, like black guys will say that to like white guys, but like, would you ever hear like a white guy say like, the n-word or like say like oh like bitch ass like black boy or something like that and my answer to that would be honestly no like i play basketball a couple a little bit in high school um and i have friends who have played um and no like you probably wouldn't hear a white guy say it's a black guy and that's probably because of like i mean u.s history in itself you know like it's gotten to a point in society where people who are black and people who are white, certain things can be said based on the situations that they are in. And like, for example, black people can say the N word and white people really don't have the authority to say the N word in most circumstances. Um, even in like a song or something like that, because that's a word that black people have taken and they've made it their own. And when white people used it, it was, used as a way to show dominance and oppression and show that like they were controlled they taken control of the word so they're the ones who get to claim it and white people are no longer allowed to say it in most circumstances um and i think that's a great thing that's done by black people in order to like reclaim something that used to be negative and claim it as something that's endearment um and use it for their own personal endearment and endearment of others um in certain situations um so yeah, when if Luka Doncic was to say something like that, it would it would be a big deal just because of like history and like the things that black people had to go through um throughout history at the hands of white people. Um obviously not Luka cuz he's from um he's from Europe. I forget what country he's from. Either Slovenia or Slovakia or Croatia. One of those three maybe. Maybe not even that. Um but yeah, so Obviously not like his ancestors per se, because I know he's directly from there. But you you get the picture I'm trying to paint here where black people are have been oppressed by white people. So for him, so people to say like, oh, it's racist by Harrell is wrong because I don't really think that you can say that him just saying that is racist. Can black people be racist in some instances? Yes, very few, very few instances. You'd have to point me to a specific example where what a black person is doing to a white person is causing them to go through... Um, is actually oppressing them and not being able to them to get opportunities or certain things because of the black person saying X or the black person doing Y to the white person. Like, you don't really see that, but obviously you've seen that where white people are able to say and do things to black people that has oppressed them systemically throughout history and even to this day continues to, um, as we've had with Black Lives Matter and, like, pro pro police brutality. Um so yeah, um, people can say like, some people will argue like, it's not racist, but like it's prejudice, which I can also see as well. Um, like, yeah, like to say that and bring the color into it can be a little bit prejudiced. Um, and I can see how people might think that way. But for me personally, as someone who's played sports and many people who have played sports, they would know that when you are in the heat of the moment and just playing and bumping elbows and sweating and just getting rough and tumble with the boys and the paint and just trying to go at it like stuff happens things get said and at the end of the day you go and uh someone wins someone loses but you show respect and you dap them up and that's exactly what harold did he apologized he said even on his own right because he's like i personally believe it's wrong i don't care what everyone else has to say which i totally respect he's like mm, maybe i shouldn't have said that and he went and apologized. And even Luka Doncic like, bro, no worries. I know stuff gets said in the heat of the moment. And I know you, I know you didn't mean anything racially by that. Um, and we're just having a good time playing playoff basketball. And it gets emotional. Things get said. I say stuff to you, say stuff to me. But at the end of the day, we both have respect for each other. And we go on our days and make the victor win and move on to the next series at the end of the day and go for that chip, you know? Um, so, yeah, like when it comes to certain situations – I understand why this one got a little bit blown up because of Black Lives Matter and because of the NBA and how they've been very vocal on that. But people need to take a step back and really assess the situation and see if it's really something that needs to be taken to this level because 
personally, it should have been a non-story, in my opinion. Guy says, bitch ass white boy to a uh, black guy says that to a white guy in a basketball game. Everyone should know that's pretty standard, you know? Um, and I think that the way that black people have been oppressed and how they've gone through racism, like, when they go ahead and say that, they're not saying it to, like, go ahead and be racist towards them or oppress them. They're just saying that as, like, oh, you're white and I dunked over you or whatever. Like, yeah, you're a little bitch. You're white. So, yeah, bitch, that's white boy. That's what you are. So, that's what Harold said. That's what happened. Um, Just a little smack talk. It's going to happen in sports. And, honestly, if you can't handle that, I don't really think you should be uh, playing any sport, any level, especially the professional level like the NBA or the MLS or – what are the other sports we got? NHL. So yeah, people just gotta realize what's what's smack talk and what's actually racist. Like Harold Harold saying that's a Dantich, nothing is going to happen to Dantich that's gonna put him in positions like, oh, like he feels oppressed or anything like that. So people just gotta keep a clear mind and be focused and see exactly what things they need to be putting pressure on um to change things systemically, um, for the betterment of all people and what things are kind of just like par for the course and smack talk like that is par for the course and it, it's going to be said probably today in the nba games probably every single day nba games middle school games high school games, college games throughout the time of human existence so so yeah um thanks for that thanks for listening drop a like subscribe to my channel um let's get this thing moving um i know there's been people who have um been supporting me throughout but yeah i got a lot to say a lot of things um coming up and i'm going to start doing some more um um different things not just sticking strictly to like politics but like um might start doing some vlogging might start doing some um some different challenges when i get back to michigan in a couple days with um some of my college roommates um we might start doing some other things um so stay forward um and look to that um but yeah let's see how far we can go with this thing and um thanks for the support everyone